you all should understand which is the normal cold which is the allergic cold which is the viral cold all these things can lead to some other complication of sinuses hi i am dr prashant kevle a ent surgeon at apollo spectra chembur today we'll talk about the sinus a very common problem what are sinus sinus are nothing but these bones in the face they are filled with the air which is coming from your nose and there are small openings into these sinuses suppose if you get cold what happen there is a swelling inside the sinus mucosa so this swellings will obliterate or block these openings and then whatever secretions are in the sinuses they remain inside and they get infected and what you get is cold the thick yellow secretions if you don't take the treatment early then these cold will become recurrent infections and then this sinus wall will become so thick that it may protrude into the nose and outside also as a polyps so all these problems can be prevented if you take a proper treatment of each and every cold you all should understand which is the normal cold which is the allergic cold which is the viral cold all these things can lead to some other complication of sinuses imagine this opening if it is blocked and if the pus in the sinus is going on increasing it can rupture into all vital structures like your eyes sometimes the frontal sinus can break into the brain and can lead to brain abscess so all these things are can be prevented if you take the proper consultation at early point and then suppose if it happens again and again then we may go ahead we find out the reason for the polyp or the ostium block by means of ct scan and once we chart out on the ct scan what are the areas which are infected and need care we can go ahead with endoscopic sinus surgery so in this we pass a small endoscope which is 4 mm and we go into the nose we see all these sinuses in a big tv screen and we can see each and every detail so minutely that we can take care of this opening we open it so wide that they cannot get blocked in lifetime so that way we can treat the sinus surgery very well but endoscopic surgery is not only for sinuses imagine this nose is not which is seen outside it is just the part of the nose the cavity is inside surrounded by the eyes surrounded by the brain above so practically speaking this is our corridor to approach a swelling region into the orbit and into the brain as well so nose endoscopic sinus surgery is very safe it is very safe because we can see all the structure in minute details and we can take care of each and every thing from the nose which is approachable let it be csf leak let it be tumor from the olfactory nerve let it be tumor from the pituitary which can be approached through the nose a very simple surgery and a day care or maybe two day stay and that will take care of your sinuses and the surrounding structure so it is a safe surgery to go if required but early treatment and prevention of the sinus complication is in your hand if you take proper consultation at right time you can save the surgery and you can be a better person thank you